Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 5. Uh, yeah, we're up here in the treehouse, and we are going to finally get ourselves kitted out in full diamond armor. I'm pretty excited about Uh Yeah, let's get to it. So I have been putting in a lot of the work here behind the scenes and we have everything we should need to get. Now we're probably going to have to redo some of this with some, uh, get some more levels and whatnot. That seems mighty. Uh, we're going to have to get some more levels. But we can get this process started and maybe by the end of the episode we'll have old diamond enchanted armor. Alrighty, so after about 10 or 15 minutes of trading, we're able to get our chest plate and leggings. Um, Got some decent boots for the time being. Um, we'll end up swapping them over to uh, these ones here. And uh, then we're going to have a, a real nice uh, helmet there. But uh, yeah, let's get on with the rest of it and we will uh, work on taking care of those ones later. Alrighty, so running down the treehouse, down into our little storage area like we talked about in the last episode. We ended up adding a little bit more down here. Um, these are going to be for some more uh, bulk items and such like this. And then we did end up putting our super smelter down here, our semi-super smelter, and it is working great. Uh, we will run down this way where we have an entry to our farm and I've been down here the last couple days um, working on added this bottom row here and then this top row and then uh, we've kind of expanded opened up the roof a little bit um, I have some plans that I want to show and work through with you guys Alrighty, so I think we have gotten to a point here where we are able to uh, start tossing some beehives in. Let's get a door place down here first, make sure no bees can escape. The looks of it, there is no place they can go other than in here. So we will start placing beehives down. Hopefully these have these in them. Not quite sure if they do or not. I'm not sure if my redstone contraption here is going to work either. So I guess we're going to sit here for a while and we will see what uh see what happens it really is a thing of beauty watching these guys float around and do their thing um fortunately it looks like my redstone isn't working so we are gonna have to uh double check that maybe consult somebody here and see if we can get them to come and take a look at it um, not sure why it's not working. I wonder if I need more redstone dust to come right over top of the dispensers. But yeah, let's take a look and see if we can't find someone to help us. Alright, so we were able to find somebody that did help us. Uh, ultimately, this was what was left behind here. Um, I was talking to a few people about it, and they said, Oh yeah, we'll come take a look. And uh, KBN actually 
left uh, this little contraption here to show me how I should make the harvester. Um, but as you can see, it's working. And this is actually not even the amount that we have collected so far. Um, let me run over to the shopping district here real quick and you'll be able to gauge how much we have uh, made here. And uh, one thing that did happen in between all of this is uh, we ended up opening the end. So we now have wings. We can fly all over the place, which is great. Um, it's always, it always sucks early game not having having the wings, but makes you really appreciate the early game. So, All right, so we're here in the shopping district. Um, we were able to get that honey farm working uh, so much so that we have full chest or a full barrel of candles and we continue to keep adding we are able to sell and make honey block now and we have honeycomb block with a bunch of leftover honeycomb which is just great it, it's working great so um yeah and we were able to lower some prices over here in our iron um and we haven't been selling much of this other stuff here uh fluff and rainbows gathered a bunch of nether wood and things like that to sell um which we've sold some of the nether wood but none of the other nether stuff here yet so hopefully we can get some sales with the honey stuff and uh lowering the iron price but uh, let's take a look at the shopping district itself get an aerial overview of it just because it is really starting to pop off. We have these big city buildings starting to pop up here. Uh, this little palace looking thing, which is great. Maybe a circus tent over here, which is pretty cool. UFOs. Totems. A lot of cool little stores that are popping up around here. Flag day was recently, so we did hold a flag competition here, and there's a few of the little flags that people built. A lot of really cool flags. Let me know which one you guys think in the comments, which one was the best. But we will get back over to the base and start our next task. Well, unfortunately, uh, something happened with my recording software and I just recorded about four to five minutes worth of content and none of it is going to work. So um, I'm just going to run over to the job board, show you what I was going to do and show you what I did and we'll decorate it. Alright, so we were over here at the job board uh, previously in one of the clips that didn't work uh, looking at it and we looked at all the tasks and one that seemed pretty fun was building like a pond with fish. Um, so if we run over this way, we can see the start of a little pond here. Um, we're going to end up decorating that here to end the video and then go get some fish and whatnot and we'll get that put in there so let's uh let's get started here and decorate the pond
Well, I had no luck finding any tropical fish. Um, luckily enough, we had another player who had found, looks like about four of them for me. So we will get those babies released into here. Um, I'm pretty darn happy with how this little pond turned out. Um, I think it looks this cute little pond, really. Uh, let's get these uh, fish released. We got a couple axolotl as well. Um, these guys will escape, but that's all right. There we go. Oh, no. Our cute predators are killing the fish. Get back here. Oh, no. We only have two left. Where'd the brown axolotl go? There he is. All right. I should have known that was going to happen. Um, we got two. For now. Until we find more. Um, but yeah, that's the uh, that's the end of the episode. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment, like, subscribe, so on and so forth. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.